Hey, what's up, everyone? Journeyman here, and welcome back to a Journeyman's Journey. Today is, of course, chapter number one, part two of our epic adventure. So, in today's episode, we're going to take on top of the table, Bell, Sheena, and if we get time, we'll also take on a Naftin as well. Lots of changes to the club, but what I realized was that I've been in Belarus now for about three weeks, and I'm yet to find a place to live. So, without further ado, I'd like to, to uh, introduce you to my humble abode. All right, so with the wages I obviously had, which is quite a bit apparently in uh, Belarus, I managed to find myself the most luxurious apartment money can afford. As you can see, we're going to start off here in the kitchen with these beautiful 1930s Art Deco style uh, <laughs> kitchen table right here. And as you can see, the finest and upgradable materials here too. Absolutely wonderful living space. We have only the water heater in the corner there. Uh, as you can see, the fridge is classic. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, painted bright red. Uh, for some reason uh, then we go into the beautiful bathroom as you can see it's got a shower which is great because I like to keep clean um, all right after that as you can see this is the master bedroom this wallpaper by the way stunning absolutely stunning and uh, obviously my thing about this room though is the bed sheets look at the bed sheets that is vintage vintage 1960s action for you right there and uh, this living room by the way look at that comfy Look at that comfy couch there. I can imagine they're sitting there reviewing tapes of SV Sloanen and obviously watching some Belarusian um, top division football from the seat here. And that doily, by the way, again, absolutely stunning. However, the masterpiece is certainly going to be this Eiffel Tower portrait right here up against the wall and um, not to mention this beautiful wavy line decorations as you can see so this is my apartment I hope you guys liked it anyway we're back to the episode all right so we're back on site here as manager FC Sloan him so eh, there's been one game since last time you joined us and that was a 2-1 victory over fellow strugglers Volna we beat them at 2-1 goals and of course Oleg of course he's going to get on the score sheet Garishmik gets himself a goal there early on 27 minute. Um, Markov got himself a goal as well from the right wing position as you can see there. And they pulled a goal back late on to make things a little bit awkward for us at the end, but overall played pretty well. Did enough just about to hold on. And obviously as well, because the uh, transfer talent has now passed, we actually signed some players. Yes, we bought some players and we now have a full squad. Let's introduce you to the new boys. All right, first new signing was a right back. In fact, a Togolese right back. Now, what's interesting is that we can't use foreign players at all in the Belarus first division. However, uh, this guy actually is part Belarus, as you can see. Uh, Belarusian, part Belarusian. There you go. Um, he's fluent in Russian, which is great. That's the national language of Belarus, in case you didn't know. I didn't know, but now I do know. So uh, we brought him in. Obviously, he is a more than capable right back. He's already played one game and actually played pretty well. Um, decent going forward crossings pretty good there dribbling first touch passing he's actually a right midfielder by trade um, but he can do a good job at right back and that's where he'll spend most of his time all right here as you can see we brought on our first under 20 player to try and help fill out the squad as you remember from the last game we didn't have enough under 20 players to fill the side so we had to use a fake goalkeeper to play and he was atrocious he let him five goals wasn't really his fault to be fair um, but anyway uh, we signed Alekin Fa um, Fazilov he's got a little bit of potential a little bit of promise but again primarily it was to fill out the squad to have enough players after that a striker and actually a pretty decent striker two and a half star according to my assistant manager uh pavel prov Pok Kass, used to play for leader who can't play in the division obviously um poacher he'd just be on the bench available whenever i need him then you brought in a young right winger here. Can also play as attacking centre midfielder. He's a two and a half star current ability player. Five star potential, incredibly enough. Um, on the shorter side, not very strong. He's going to have to work on that to get regular first team football with me. But as you can see, his highlights are technique, first touch, decent bit of flair, work rates there as well, pace, acceleration. So the guy can definitely provide a creative outlet for the side. In fact, he used to play um, for Barte, as you can see. And Barte Borisov are one of the higher, uh, more reputable teams in Belarus. So the guy does have some pedigree. We'll see if he makes any appearances. But again, he fits that category of under 20 as well. So again, makes the squad a little bit deeper. All right, and then we have a midfielder, um, Arsenai Sobka. Now, I actually started him in the last game, and he did okay for himself. First a game, he got himself an assist, average rating of 7.6 in that game. Um, overall, he's a pretty decent midfielder. Now, he's listed as a playmaker, but I'm trying to turn him into a little bit of a Mazala uh, to play a little bit further forward in the field. Obviously, play a fat, flat three midfield um, right now. 18 years old, so he qualifies under 20, and he's good enough to start. That is two fantastic attributes to have for me in this team. 
Next up, Dennis Ivanyuk. I'm actually really excited about this guy. This guy has a ton of potential. Two and a half stars right now, five star potential. But as you can see, technically, he's actually really good. Mentally, really good. Physically, not quite there yet, but we are working with him in training to try and get that up to a higher level. Here is actually a right winger. They can also play as a centre midfielder and left midfielder. Obviously, um, centre midfielder is the only position that really works in the current system we have, but it's good to have options, and I'm retraining him to play a bit more of a creative midfielder for me. So hopefully he'll get some appearances, and again, once again, he qualifies as an under-20 player. All right, last but not least, I signed a goalkeeper. I realize the two goalkeepers we have weren't sufficient quality, especially if we we're going to um, utilize. Obviously, we're trying to move up the league and trying to solidify our defense. We needed a decent goalkeeper. So I signed this guy, um, Alexander um, Shruby, Shrubeko, Shrubeko. Sure, we'll go with Shrubeko. Um, as you can see, he's only 22 years old, so he's got a bit of potential growth in him, a potentially four and a half star player. Um, but overall, very, very solid goalkeeper. Had a good start to his uh, career. He only conceded one goal on that game, and obviously average is 6.9. Um, this guy is actually pretty decent. I'm very happy to get him on board, and automatically, he's my best goalkeeper in the squad. All right, and obviously when I joined the club, by the way, it was just me and my assistant manager, so I didn't have anyone else. So I had to bring in some staff members. So I'm, I'm looking to try and fill this team out. I'm still waiting to bring in a general coach, but as you can see, it is getting a little bit better. Uh, let's go ahead and introduce you to uh, some of the uh, new guys helping behind the scenes. Uh, let me see, staff players coming in. All right, so here we go. So um, obviously, um, fitness coach, first of all, we got our fitness coach in with a fitness ability of four. There wasn't many options out there, unfortunately, and a lot of these uh, coaches coming in are, by the way, regen coaches. Um, again, the ability is not there, and uh, I can barely afford these guys. I had to negotiate down on their contract. So, uh, Mikhail comes in as a fitness coach. I felt like Mikhail would be a great name um, to have as a fitness coach. Uh, then I brought in Stanislav as a head of a youth development. As you can see, he's got a judging ability of eight. That's actually the, was the best candidate by far. Uh, Working with youngsters, nine, two. It's not terrible at this level. Um, after that, Pavel Malkin unfortunately uh, doesn't look like John Malkovich but uh, Pavel Malkovich pretend he does um, judging ability of three and four so in overall pretty pretty terrible but again it's it's what I could afford unfortunately after that so we brought in uh, I'm gonna pretend his brother Igor Malkovich um, as you can see he is a goalkeeping coach and not bad either seven and the uh, all the right departments there but uh, we are starting to fill out a squad a bit better now so obviously our training is going to improve slightly we know we've got some good young talent so I'd like to get some get the most out of them we need decent decent coaches uh, and then I brought in a head physio here Sir Guy is our head physio um, with a five honestly I wouldn't go to him if I was injured but that's just me personally Oh, in case you're interested too, by the way, uh, the board have agreed to pay for me to uh, get my National C license. I get my first license finally. Uh, I'm not sure when that's going to be, but I'm pretty sure it'll be in the upcoming months. All right, so here we go. Up against Belshina now at home. Obviously, Belshina are top of the table. Let's take a look at some of their recent form. So as you can see, they're playing pretty well. In fact, so far since we joined the uh, Belarusian League, they've won two out of two. But so what? We're in form two. We've won two out of two. And uh, I'd like to make that three today if we possibly can. So this is the lineup we're going to go with. Uh, no changes to the team necessary at all. I was happy with the performance against Volna. So in goal, uh, you're going to see uh, Shrubieko. What's his first name? Alexander. Yep, Alexander's in goal. It's a much easier name to pronounce. Obviously, uh, Shajaka at right back uh, making his debut in the series. Matt Feeve, of course, continuing on left wing back. Um, center halves, the under-21 allocation player. It's going to be uh, Skatchkov. Um, the players above him, uh, by the way, the alternative option at center half aren't that much better. So I'm going to stick with him. And, uh, you know, maybe he might grow into a decent player because of it. Um, he's partnered by uh, Krasai at the back. In midfield, you're going to see one under-20 uh, representative there, Sobko, um, as a Mazala. Did a good job in that first game. Let's hope he continues today. Uh, then we have uh, Mikkel Sov, obviously anchor in the midfield there. Playmaking, ball winning, does it all really for us. Uh, then we have Dirk Terev at the box-to-box uh, -box midfielder next to him. Up top, of course, Markov, Marko, 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 who's had a great start to his campaign, um, obviously with me. Um, Solovoy, that's key as always. And of course, leading the line, the man, the myth, the legend, Oleg Gawashimchik. And as you can see, I've included some under-20 players on the bench as well. So in case we have to make changes, we do have options available. All right, so here we go. Um, they'll have a 4 2 3 1 deep formation, as you can see, and obviously, what the classic 4 3 2 1 formation here for us. So here we go. Um, 
And there we go, good, perfect, that, that works excellent. So here we go, playing at home for the second time in the series. Obviously, I am intrigued to see how we're going to do against the uh, best team in the league thus far. If uh, we can get a solid, positive result, um, it'll definitely be a sign of encouragement and development in this football team. Because um, after winning two games in a row, naturally, I'm overconfident. So um, if we keep winning today, great. If we don't, it might knock me down a peg. All right, first start of the game, taking 27 minutes to do it. So the game's pretty even thus far, not as exciting as the last game. But here's a chance now. Goms is through on goal, and he smashes it off the top of the crossbar. Good chance there for Balshina to open the scoring. Here's a corner kick. We've been very successful with set pieces so far. Markov, the, oh, get in there. Degterev gets a goal, only a second goal this season. Alexander Degterev, um, an assist from Anatoly Markov. Brought the ball down beautifully in the box, laid it across to Degterev, and he found the back of the net. Take a look at it again. Good header down. And a good finish there from Dektorev as well in the half volley. All right, 1-0 and absolutely playing a storm. As you can see, we've had a lot more shots than they have. We've had a greater possession than they have. So the control possession seems to be working in this league as it did in the Save Our Saints series. So, so far, so good. I'm going to stick over here for the second half. There's really not no need to make any changes. I'm going to give these guys a little bit of encouragement as they exit and head back onto the field. But apart from that, so far, so good. Obviously, we've just got to keep it up in the second half. Always liable to maybe concede a goal because of the player quality we have at the back. But if we can extend this league, great if we can't I feel like we could hold on to a precious precious three points here all right here we go second second half highlight here here's Sobko now lays it across to Deg to ever got the first goal that's back to Sobko back to Deg to F that's concentrating holding on to the ball Sobko that's a terrible ball from uh, Mikchov or whatever his name is so Gomza here is going to latch on to that we're a little bit exposed at the back here someone's in the box three and that's a great save by uh, Shabreko in goal. Fantastic keeping there from the uh, the new signing. Already proven his money worth for that save. Ball gets whipped in, cleared only half, and uh, Makarov should do the rest here. So, uh, so far, we're still doing good here going into the second half. We've got a couple of players that are looking a little bit nervous, which is expected, of course. Um, so, we maybe we'll make a change. You know, 10 minutes to go, I'm going to make a change. We're going to freshen some legs up out there. Um, Olog, he's been good today, but not as good as he was in the last game. So, Pavel Provkus is going to make his debut today. And because it's now three under 20 players on the field, I can now take one of them off. I could take off... Um, I could potentially take off Shafkov if I wanted to, but I actually forgot to put a centre half on the bench by mistake, so we're going to forget about doing that. Um, who else could we bring on instead? We could bring on uh, Pogodin now for Sobko to solid, solidify the midfield a little bit. Yeah, I think that might do. All right, that's good. We'll go with that for now. So here we go. So just 10 minutes to go in this game, and there could be three wins in a row now for us as manager of FC Slonem, and that would be an impre impre oh, I would have been an impressive start, honestly. But looking at that team when I came into it, I, I actually didn't expect to get anything out of it, uh, especially the first three games. It's very tough games. But anyway, here's a chance now for a free kick, and that should be it now. That's our oh, past injury time, ref. That should be uh, – there it is. Full-time muscle has gone. Another win here for Slonem up against, uh, we've got Belshina today at the top of the table team. And we actually outplayed them. I mean, looking at our match stats, as you can see, we largely outplayed them. Um, we had a lot more long shots than they did, but I don't really mind. In this league, if you take long shots on, um, the keeper will occasionally make mistakes and you'll get half a chance to, to find the back of the nets. But overall, very impressive display. We attempted 527 passes, 75% completion. Uh, we're actually 100% on tackling, which is unbelievable, actually. 19 out of 19 tackles. It seems kind of low in a football game. It's only have 19 tackles, but we'll take it. Um, one a decent amount of headers, two. Um, possession, 60%. That's wonderful. And um, just overall, a fantastic display from the boys. All right, so after that game, we actually move up now to 10th place in the table. So we're starting to pick up steam a little bit. Now that's three wins in a row since we've taken over. And obviously, what, uh, what we're doing here is working for us. I'm hoping we continue that in the next episode. So what I'm going to do now, uh, originally I was going to do two games in this episode, but I decided to switch it to one for this one. I apologize if I got your hopes up. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, in future, if I, I'm going to cut down on the stuff before the game so we can focus on the games. Um, obviously, it'll vary to episode to episode. Sometimes it'll be one, sometimes it'll be two. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think. Do you want to see two episodes, sorry, two games an episode, or do you want me to stick to just the one? Uh, I'll be interested to hear your feedback about it. But going forward here, um, obviously we look like we're going to survive. I don't think that's going to be an issue based off the first three games. I think we have a good enough squad to do so. Um, 
a largely underappreciated the quality of talent we do have. So obviously I'm going to continue to try and push this team forward here, try and get up as high as we possibly can and set up for next season because if we keep doing that, there's a good chance that we might be able to force our way into player of recognition next year and try and climb the ranks early um, of the footballing world. But um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, leave a like on it. And if you want to see more from me in the future, if you want to see daily Football Manager 2019 content, please hit subscribe to notifications on. It means a lot to me. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.